been a practitioner in the community for over 35 years and my background being both <coughs> integrative medicine and functional medicine which means if you come to my office with symptoms of say elevated blood pressure I'm not going to just say take some herbs what I do is I test and I don't guess I test and I assess my passion under my nonprofit is two legs actually almost three now one is beauty shop stroke screening and this is where I have my ultrasound company come out and they test your carotid arteries and your vertebral artery in your neck because more women are dying from stroke and cardiovascular disease than breast cancer starting in their 20s is starting very very young so it's so important that going through these journeys of healing is more than taking a pill it's more than drinking great water it's more than taking supplements because your emotions can destroy you unforgiveness will destroy you it will destroy you I've seen people heal after just forgiving a couple cancer patients with their journeys like that This is about nine years ago. I had a dream and God said at three o'clock in the morning, this felt like he just pushed me out of bed, and said start adding to your nonprofit beauty shop stroke screening. So knowing that the carotid arteries are in the neck. Now if there's plaque here in the car carotid artery, which you just stated, you're in the bowl and they move you back and forth and it's hard plaque it can break off and you can have a stroke in the salon. I came about this wonderful $20,000 machine that a friend of mine said, you have helped me with my cancer. So I want to buy this for the clinic so you can put it under your nonprofit. So people would not have to pay for the tests. So this is why this three minute cardiovascular, metabolic, let's see what's going on with your adrenals. Let's just see what's going on with plaque level. So if you've ever had a root canal, Dr. Hal Huggins, before he passed away, one of the top scientists said, root canals, if you ever had one, your chances of developing breast of cancer is very high. So root canals you don't want to do. If you need to have a tooth removed, get a cavitation done, let them clean it all out or remove the tooth. But root canals, no. Implants, no. Heavy metal going in. We'll go through that on another date as it relates to cardio um, dental. Because dental, your dental health can kill you. You could have the best diet, exercise, great attitude, forgiveness, but if something happened in your life that you said that really broke my heart and it hits you pretty bad, you can die of a broken heart, the broken heart syndrome. I've known two people who have died personally of broken heart syndrome. So when things are close to your heart, and sometimes we can't turn things around very fast, then there's certain things we want to add to our diet, add doing, doing your deep breathing, go watch a funny movie, sometimes it's kind of hard, but find something to laugh about and get some joy going very fast when you have had a broken heart. Take some time for you because you don't want to be the next person. So as I do your tests, it's gonna let me know where you are as far as type. Type one would be no plaque, it would look like this. That's how your arteries will look with type one. Type two is very little plaque, very little. Type two, and it'll give me percentage. Type three is this. That's type three. Nobody wants to be type three at 50%. That means you're having decreased blood supply getting to your feet, your brain, the, the little um, arteries in the back of the eye, your arteries in your kidneys, everything in your body is suffering. 
when you get all this built up because you have these other small arteries and then we get to four and five it's just about plugs people forget sometimes you know our wonderful arteries should be pliable and there should be some laxity there when you get all this build up in the arteries they get stiff and hard if they get stiff and hard then you're going to have some other arterial and cardiovascular diseases. You're going to have heart disease. You're going to have stroke. I mean, all these things fall in together. There are certain tests everybody should know. You should know your vitamin D level. You should know your C-reactive protein, which is an inflammation marker. How much inflammation is in your body? Everybody should know that. You should know that on your children. Um, your homeocysteine is another inflammation marker. And another one that's really good is to know your insulin, your serum insulin. Because that insulin level, once it starts going up, you're going to have problems with diabetes. Sixty and over, people don't tend to even get cancer. 60 and over, no heart attacks. So all the research is done to show when your vitamin D level is 60 and over, you won't have heart attacks. It's even related now to cancer, people who are 60 and over. So you want to keep those levels up. My daughter bought me a leave-in conditioner from Trader Joe's. It was called a leave-in organic health spa that caused me to go in atrial fibrillation. And I nearly flatlined. That was this year and year before last. So hair products, if you feel strange after using something in your hair and shampoo, I'm telling you, the, the chemicals in it is, is not good. And you will sometimes feel tired after you comb your hair or you had your hand up and then you start feeling kind of, you know, what you're putting in your hair, you'd be surprised. So now what I like to do is take coconut oil and do a cold water wash. Fill your whole head up with coconut oil, put a cap on, sleep in it overnight, get up the next morning and just wash it. I haven't had shampoo in my hair in almost two years. A lot of people are vegetarian, so you know the industry is like, okay, they're not gonna eat the meat. We know the meat's toxic, especially if it's not grass fed and grass finished. So now the GMO they sprayed on the vegetables. We have people now who've been vegetarians who are dying of cancer. I have about six people like that right now. So it isn't a day that doesn't pass that I do not receive a call from another cancer patient. Uh, and I don't like to use the word cancer in our clinic, we say abnormal cells. Mm, you come in, you have some abnormal cells, this is work on it. Yes. But we don't, I don't like to see work. Okay, so not that we're living in denial, but why feed more into it. You can monitor yourself. Just check your pulse. Pulse is up, feeling a little hot, feeling a little faint from eating something. Holidays are coming up, and we put all this food on our plate, and we eat it from the dressing, this corn, and this and that, and then the dessert after, and how do people feel after? They feel bloated, sluggish, tired. We look at what is called epigenetics. And epigenetics means that we can change what our family had with their diet and our lifestyle changed that. So we don't have those same diseases. We don't have to have those same diseases because my grandparent was a diabetic that was in their genes. Okay, you take off a pair of genes, you can change the genes in your body. I feel that everyone taking any blood pressure medicine, uh, the doctors haven't told people it isn't hiding from anyone. It's in the physician death records, what we call the PDR, that most of your blood pressure medicines are linked to a form of cancer. So if you're taking a blood pressure medicine, just Google it and ask, does this 
blank medication cause cancer. And I've seen so many people taking some of these generic medications, and just about all of them are generic, generic, especially from the HMOs. And if you are, I'm not saying stop taking them. What I'm saying is make sure you're covering your immune system. That's where it goes back to those markers. Not sleeping for one night is equivalent to eating a poor diet for a whole month. Doesn't that tell you a lot? A lot? Equivalent to eating a poor diet for a whole solid month. Just for not sleeping. Everybody should have eight. We should have eight. Anything under five hours statistically have shown that you are headed to heart disease. If it's less than. So when we talk about sleep, it's like do you go to sleep and wake up, you should go to your restroom. If that's happening, you should stop your water early and fluids early so you don't wake up to do that. Um, you know, you can't go to sleep mainly because you have too many people in the bed with you. You know, you have your boss from work. You have this person over here because your mind is there. You have all these thoughts of all these people in situations. So it's too cluttered. So how could you sleep if your mind is cluttered? So what you have to do is turn it off. And also, before you go to bed, make sure you do a detox. A detox of forgiveness. And I want everybody to stand up. I'm going to show you an exercise real quick to wake up those lip notes. Don't have anything in your hand. And you're going to put both arms out to the side. Both of them, I'm holding the mic so I can't. Yeah, and you're going to shake your shoulders, okay, shake your shoulders, and then you're going to shake your waist, still if you could just shake your waist, and then your thighs, shake your thighs, your knees, so you should basically almost be like this, yes, now if you want to do this some music, you can, now hold it there for a minute, keep shaking, keep shaking, keep shaking, now stop, now don't you feel it, you feel that surge? Yeah. You, feel, you can feel the surge in your body. Now you should do that every morning. Wake up that lymphatic system. Okay, get things flowing in the body. Do not close your eyes. Don't talk. But do breathe. <laughs>